O3 Mini versus Deep Seek R1, which is the best and who wins. We're going to test it out today. First thing we'll do is we'll compare the, the paper on O3 Mini and the paper from Deep Seek R1. We've actually done a direct comparison inside ChatGPT so we can see, okay, which one is better? What's the difference? So obviously they're both logic and reasoning models and O3 Mini and O3 Mini High have just been released hours ago. So what we can see here is how smart are they? And you can see actually, if we compare math skills, Deep Seek R1 is actually beating O3 Mini, which is pretty wild. And that comes from ChatGPT itself. For coding, they're both pretty much equal. General knowledge, pretty much equal, it seems like. Writing and creativity, they're not really designed for. And for speed, it seems like DeepSeek R1 isn't as fast as OpenAI 3. We'll be comparing them to test them out. And you can see there's actually a breakdown here. Now, this is really, really useful, actually, the way the chat GPT is presenting it. So you can see for hard math and coding help, you're probably going to use DeepSeek R1. For fast answers and safe responses, O3 Mini. For deep thinking and problem solving, and for a careful rule following assistant, O3 Mini. That sounds exciting. So, final verdict. Deep Seek R1 is the best for thinking, solving problems, and deep reasoning. We'll compare them in practical examples in a minute. And O3 Mini is coming out best for fast, safe, and structured answers. And that's comparing both white papers using ChatGPT. So, let's get into the testing now, and we'll open up Deep Seek. Now, the model that we need to test is Deep Seek R1. We're not going to be testing Deep Seek version 3 because it's all about R1 today. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open up O3 Mini and we shall also compare O3 Mini High, right? And then we can compare all three models, all three releases and see which one performs the best. So let's get straight into this bad boy. We'll keep it simple first of all and then we'll build it up. So I'm going to create a Space Invaders game in HTML. We'll ask Deep Seek R1 first. Then we're going to ask O3 Mini and then we'll ask O3 Mini High. Now, Deep Seek is still having a cheeky think about this. O3 Mini has already coded it. So way, way before Deep Seek R1, it's definitely winning on speed. And O3 Mini High has already come back to us as well. So it's a speed test. ChatGPT and OpenAI O3 Mini is winning by a long way. Now, whilst we're waiting for Deep Seek R1 to actually come up with the response for this post, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the HTML and we'll just test it out and see how it's performing. So if we copy this, you actually don't get the canvas option inside O3 Mini or O3 Mini High, which means that you can't run the HTML inside ChatGPT, which is a shame, but hopefully that comes in the future. And we'll clear this out and plug in the response. Now, from what I can see, there is no option to actually control the main Space Invaders character, right? It's super buggy. So O3 Mini High might come back to us quickly, but if it's the wrong answer, absolutely no point in doing that, right? Let's check out the HTML from O3 Mini. So this is like the mid version. We'll test this out, see what we got here. That's actually giving us a controllable character. But again, as you can see, I'm controlling the enemies, not the main character, and I can't move around. So it's super buggy as well. So they might come back to you quickly, but if the answer is totally wrong, there's no point, right? O3 Mini and O3 Mini High not doing a great job there. We still got the HTML coming back from Deep Seek R1. And also just a note here is like, you can run this unlimited times inside Deep Seek R1. ChatGPT O3 Mini and ChatGPT O3 Mini High are paid. And I think to get unlimited like Deep Seek R1, you would have to pay $200 per On the plus plans, you get like 150 messages per day. So I'm gonna run the HTML now and see what we got here and look at that. We're living the dream here, sunshine. We're absolutely living the dream here. Deep Seek R1 has already built something better than space with Space Invaders versus ChatGPT O3 Mini High and ChatGPT O3 Mini. That has absolutely blown me away because this is free. I can use it an unlimited amount. I can run the HTML inside the chat. I don't have to go to liveweave.com to preview it. And it's given me a better response than the latest version of ChatGPT which is supposed to be one of the biggest companies in the world. And as much as I love OpenAI, I love ChatGPT, I love their tools. How can it underperform DeepSeek R1 encoding? Like, it just blows me away. So, let's test something else out now. And um, we're going to create a basic website using each model. We'll go to new chat. We will test some reasoning. Um, we'll create a new chat in each, just to make it a different context. So we're going to plug this in and I'm going to say create a beautiful SEO cost calculator website, add emojis plus plenty of details about the tool, FAQs, etc. Brand colors equals this. We'll plug that in and we shall plug this directly into DeepSeek R1 as well. And let's see what we get back. Now, again, I know 
the O3 Mini is going to go straight off to the races and give us a very thorough response in a short amount of time. DeepSeek ChatGPT O3 Mini High is beginning to give us the output back as well. And then DeepSeek R1 is having a good old think about it. I mean, honestly, for me, like if I get the right result, I don't mind waiting. But let's test these out anyway. So we'll go into O3 Mini and we have the HTML. That's all one single file as you could see. So let's copy that. And we have the SEO cost calculator back from ChatGPT 01 Mini. I mean, to be fair, it's done a great job there, right? Plenty of information on the page. It's nicely designed. It's got all the emojis, etc. Let's just test putting these keywords in. So I'm gonna put current ranking 10, website age two, competition level low, number of keywords 10, and that does not work. Wow, that is a really basic task and it's not worked. All right, let's test out O3 Mini High. Hopefully we get back something better. So I'm gonna plug that in and we'll test this out now. So I'm gonna put conversion rate, cost per click, calculate now. And that's worked perfectly to be fair. Plus we've got some nice FAQs. So there's a, definitely a big difference between O3 Mini High and O3 Mini when it comes to generating websites. Let's test out what we've got back from DeepSeek R1. So we'll run the HTML, we'll test this out. We'll just change the number of website pages to 15, content pages five. I, th I would say the design is pretty much the same on each of these. I wouldn't say any is particularly better for front end design, but let's see if the calculator works, which it does. Beautiful, all right. So in terms of order and who wins, I'm gonna go with ChatGPT O3 Mini High. Then I would say DeepSeek R1 and O3 Mini is right at the bottom, right? So DeepSeek R1 so far is outperformed in both tests chat gpt o3 mini and it's right up there with o3 mini high however the other thing i would say is just for convenience the fact that you can run the html code directly inside the chat here just makes everything 10 times easier so on to the next one let's run new tests now and what we're going to do from here is we'll just get some ai fluffy content that's obviously ai detectable right now these AI detectors, now these AI detectors, take them with a pinch of salt, but I know there's a lot of people who use these AI detectors and it's always something I get asked for, right? Like what's the best model for removing AI detection? So if we have a look, for example, at this blog post, it's coming out at 77% AI generated, right? Easily detectable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this content right here, the fluffy content from ChatGPT 4.0, and I'm gonna test which one or which multiple models are the best for humanizing the content. So I'm gonna say humanize this so it bypasses AI detectors 100% of the time, must be 100% non-AI detectable. Then I've pasted in the fluffy content underneath that comes out at 77% AI detectable without any sort of humanization. So we'll run that through O3 Mini High, then we'll run it through DeepSeek R1, and then we're gonna run it through O3 Mini Mid. And now we've already got the content back. I mean, the speed of this is just absolutely amazing. It is great for speed, chat GPT O3 Mini. So let's plug this content into the AI detector. We'll hit detect text, see what we get back. So just to be very, very clear here, right? So oh, I've asked for generic AI fluffy content. This content, as you saw previously, came out at 77% AI detectable. When we ran it through GPT-3, when we ran it through ChatGPT O3 Mini, it had a good think about it. It's like, right, let's do this. It gave us the content back. We ran it through zero GPT and it came out at 82% AI detectable. That is more detectable by AI than the previous version. It's made it more AI detectable, not more humanized. So let's run ChatGPT O3 Mini High through zero GPT as well. We'll see what we get back. Plug that in. And that is coming out at even more AI detectable. It's ninety-seven percent AI. Bear in mind, like O one Mini, which you can't get access to now, but O one Mini inside ChatGPT would give you a hundred percent non-AI detectable. It would give you one hundred percent humanized content in my previous tests. O three Mini did a bad job. Let's be honest. It, it made the humanization percentage go from seventy-seven percent all the way up to 82. O3 Mini High took the content that was 77% AI detectable and made it 97% AI detectable. It did the opposite of what we prompted it to do. So hopefully we get something better back from DeepSeek R1 now. So we're gonna plug this content in. We'll hit detect text, see what we get back. Look at that, 0% AI detectable. Wow, that is unbelievable. That is really, really unbelievable.
personally, I want O3 Mini to be a great model. Like, I have nothing against ChatGPT. I feel bad doing these tests because I love ChatGPT. I love OpenAI and what they've done and what they've achieved in life. But just to see DeepSeek R1, which is a free model available for anyone, outperforming these multi-billion dollar companies is blowing my mind today. It shocks me. Genuinely, that DeepSeek R1 is just outperforming everything. And this is before, you know, R3 comes out. Imagine what R3 is going to be like. It's just wild. All right, next up, we're going to test the search functionality. So what we're going to try and do is combine the reasoning model of the AI natively to the search model to see what we get back as well, right? Because if we can connect the web and live information to the reasoning model, then it can be pretty powerful. So what I'm going to say is analyze the market trends in the AI industry based on today's AI news. Headlines, important, it must be based on today, not other days, right? I wanna focus on the most relevant recent information. We'll highlight search right now inside mini. We'll do the same in O3 mini, make sure we select search here, and then we'll do the same inside DeepSeek R1. And we're gonna test the search functionality. So this is gathering the headlines now. O3 Mini's doing that as well. Deep Seek R1 seems to be stuck a little bit. It seems to be thinking a lot there, having a deep think. So we'll see what it comes back with in a minute. And actually, Deep Seek R1 has totally failed. I, I've noticed this a lot this week. Like the search functionality has been down. So it says the server is busy. Please try again later. One little get around you can do is you can go over to perplexity.ai. Select reasoning with R1, use exactly the same prompt, and it will use DeepSeek reasoning R1. If you're on the pro model, you get quite a lot of searches, if not unlimited. If you're on the free model, I think you get like three searches per day, and that's working its magic right there. So let's have a look what we got back from chat GPT 03 mini high. Now, bear in mind, the headline did say important, it must be based on today, not other days, right? And if we have a look at this, it's referencing, for example, January the 29th. So that's a bit of a fail, although it's done better than DeepSeek. Reuters, has re so it's referenced January the 29th there too. 18th of January, 17th of January, 2nd of November. And also if you read that outlook, it's not really giving us like a proper analysis, right? Like honestly, if you just watch a YouTube video from today, you're going to get something that gives you a better analysis. Than, than what you're getting right there on the overall market outlook. So it says, synthesizing these reports, the current market trend in the AI industry is one of transition. Like, you already knew that. You didn't need one of the most powerful AI models in the world to tell you that. Let's have a look at the response from O3 Mini. So it's still referencing old information, even though we asked it not to. So January the 18th, January the 17th. It's talking about really generic stuff. And I would have thought that one of these models would find like the latest information from deep sea, all the craziness that's been happening this week, you know, referencing the information from the last couple of days, et cetera, especially if, you know, it's, it's focusing on today's news headlines. Like for example, if we didn't use AI and we just use, for example, like Google, which does leverage AI, but if we went to the news headlines, we can get today's headlines just by doing that. Right. And that gives us a, a much better output. So. It's pretty disappointing in terms of the results from O3 Mini, O3 Mini at high, and also DC got one. Let's have a look what we got back from Perplexity. Maybe it's something better. So look at that. Perplexity is probably outperforming everything, especially when you combine it with Deep Sea Car One. So it says the AI industry is undergoing significant shifts as of, and then it actually mentions today's date, which is useful. Then it talks about Deep Seek, which has been the biggest headline from this week and the the thing that you would focus on if you were doing an analysis from today, along with that, is talking about how Taiwan flagged DeepSeek as a national security threat, along with Italy banning its AI platform from app stores. This is really recent news, right? And the analysis is super, super useful. So out of everything, Perplexity is winning that, especially when you combine that with DeepSeek R1. Game changer. Let's do a final test. So I'm going to say now, build me a snake game in HTML. As always, O3 Mini is ready fastest. So let's copy this. We'll test it out. And that seems to be super buggy. Look at that. It's like flickering all over the place. So for just coding in general, it seems like O3 Mini is not that great. Let's test O3 Mini High. Again, look at that. Super buggy. Like it's just flashing around when I try and move it. Not great at all. Deep Sea Car 1 is still having a good think about it. A good deep thing. That's what we like to see, actually. I don't want a reasoning model that comes back to me too quickly. Because it doesn't seem like it's thought it out very well. You can't rush greatness, especially a snake game.
So we're going to hit run HTML like so, hit start game, and look look at that. Deep seat never lets you down. There we go. Look at that. So as you can see, the snake game, the only AI model that was capable of building the snake game with very simplistic prompts is Deep Seek R1. And so out of all the models, I'm still going to stick with Deep Seek R1. If I need logic, if I need reasoning, etc., I would stick with that model. If you're worried about privacy and all that sort of stuff, I would just install it locally, run it on an offline laptop. O3 Mini High and O3 Mini, not, they've not blown me away at all. They've let me down a couple of times today in terms of humanization, building out games, building out websites, it works simply enough. And for searching the web and research and using the, the power of reasoning with research, I would just go with Perplexity plus DeepSeek R1, that is free. And as you saw from today, the results were really good. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to a community of 3,700 people interested in AI and SEO, feel free to get that link in the comments description. You'll get a free AI SEO course plus 50 free AI SEO tools plus 200 free chat GPT AI SEO prompts. Links in the comments in the description. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how to get more leads, traffic, or sales to your website, to grow your business, to get more customers, feel free to get that in. On this link building acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO domination plan. So you'll get a custom tailored link building plan so you can generate more leads, sales, and profits from your website. You'll discover the secrets of SEO link building. We'll answer any questions you have one-to-one. -one. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank you better to link building. Now it's 10 SEO traffic based on what's working for us and our happy clients. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching as always. Bye-bye.